head office in Calgary. We've got an office here in Edmonton in our warehouse. It was Nate's annual oil and gas industry open house. Industry reps acquainting graduating students with career opportunity. Obviously petroleum engineering technology, chemical engineering technology, geological technology, instrumentation engineering, mechanical, millwright. It looks pretty promising, like uh, there's a lot of new innovations here. They get to see the equipment, touch the equipment, talk to the people who operate the equipment, and learn from them about the oil and gas industry. The current oil and gas slowdown is seen by industry experts to be temporary, though students may find fewer employment opportunities than perhaps a year from now. A lot of layoffs, and it's going to be a while before they start hiring again, but I anticipate maybe the middle of summer or next fall, it'll pick up. You know, the industry is cyclical. Uh, the cycles that we see are, you know, sometimes they last six months, sometimes they last a year, but, you know, they, it always rebounds, right? With that in mind, the earning potential for the oil and gas industry in Alberta remains a key motivator for technology students. The growth in the horizontal technologies has been uh, exponential. Uh, this year's a little bit slower, of course, because of the oil pricing, but uh, the growth just is in that technology has just been a phenomenal. We usually work with the oil and gas people to say like where to drill for oil and how to find gas and stuff like that. So it makes it attractive to you. Um, just the amount of money I guess I can make. If you find a job within it, you're pretty much set for life in Alberta. Within our program, uh, the exploration side of things is uh, definitely something very interesting. The average annual starting salary for the most recent batch of graduates was about 70000 a year. Again, that's average, right? Some higher, some lower, and a lot of times it's a function of how hard you want to work, how many sacrifices you want to make. Field work as a directional driller, your top rate could be, depending on the number of days you want to work, would be $200,000. And that's what got the attention of this flock of technology students, as if the free hamburgers were not enough. You know, they realize that uh, it's a, a pretty lucrative career to get into. It's got, you know, there, it's, it's long term, there's lots of future in the oil and gas industry, um, and people recognize that. Exactly what the recruiters like, even in these uncertain times. For Go Edmonton, I'm Tim Dancy.